Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I must admit, I have watched with envy as many of you have made videos and shown the great buys on canning jars that you found at flea markets, yard sales, estate sales, and such. I have searched for years for the kind of deals that you have found without much luck. Oh sure, I'll find the occasional canning jar here and there at a yard sale and I'm happy to bring them home when I find them for oh fifty cents or twenty five cents or sometimes even ten cents. That's that's a good find and I'm happy to do it. But I wanted to find cases of of canning jars for sale. I've never given up looking. I always search and this week we have a little circular that comes out in our newspaper. Our newspaper itself isn't very big, but this little circular is like two pages and mostly what it is is people trying to rent really tacky rent houses and there's an occasional garage sale mentioned in there. But in this week's paper there was just a little one-liner and it said, and I almost threw it away without reading uh, the little sale paper, but I'm always searching for a good deal and it said for sale canning jars, quart, and pint and it listed a phone number. And so I called and I had just got the paper out of the mailbox so I called hoping it was going to be a good deal. Uh, an elderly man answered. He said that he was moving, that he and his wife had canned in the past and had gardened extensively, but they didn't want to move the canning jars and they were ready to get rid of them. And he was selling the quart jars for $4 a case, for $4 for a dozen, and the pint jars $3 for a dozen. I got directions to his house and told him I'd be there shortly. He asked if I could hold off and wait about 30 minutes because he was actually showing the house which they're trying to sell. So I agreed to wait an additional 30 minutes and I made the trek up there only about 10 miles north of my house. I got there, beautiful home, beautiful property, so sad to hear they're selling it, five acres, they're moving to the city and I just, I wanted to cry for them, my heart just ached. But anyway, he took me to this beautiful three-car garage where very nicely and neatly stacked in the corner were all these canning jars. I, I was so excited. I didn't know what to do. I tried to contain my enthusiasm and looked at the jars and wanted all of the pints. Most of them are small mouth, but I don't care. For that price, I'm happy to get them. So I got... Um, I think there's uh, probably 12 cases of pints and I got two cases of quarts. Uh, there's some big boxes of pints that actually hold 15. I'd never seen cases like that but he had some. So anyway, I spent $50 on $150 worth of jars. That's what it would cost me if I had to buy them new. I've waited a long time for this and I'm so excited. I'm really short on canning jars. Uh, I've learned something this past year. I tend to hoard my canned goods and I need to do a better job of eating them and incorporating them into our meals at a little faster rate than I do uh, because I'm getting ready to can this year and I don't have any empty jars. I do now. Uh, I'm really excited. So I just wanted to, to give you encouragement. Don't give up. You can still find that great deal out there. You just have to wait for it and watch. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle.